Hi, my name is Raji Nevin. I live in Woodstock, New York. I'm going to read a notice of liability that each of the board members should have in a blue folder with, along with some documentation. With this notice of liability, each of you have become personally liable for not disabling the o OCSD school's Wi-Fi system. You have been sent a certified letter from one of the top experts in the world, Dr. David Carpenter, public health physician and director of the Institute of Health and Environment at Albany University, warning you on the health risks of the school's Wi-Fi system emitting electromagnetic radiation and its increased adverse effect on children. You have received a World Health Organization document describing its classification of electromagnetic fields as a possible carcinogen, which is what is emitted from Wi-Fi devices. You have been given an official letter from the Environmental Protection Agency stating the FCC guidelines do not protect anyone from harm of electromagnetic radiation exposure, which includes Wi-Fi radiation exposure. You have been shown there are no peer-reviewed studies that demonstrate Wi-Fi is safe for children. You have been given letters from other prominent PhDs and MDs warning you about the health dangers and risks of having a wireless connection for computers using Wi-Fi. You have been shown that children were not accounted for in the FCC guidelines that say Wi-Fi is safe. You have been given a scientific study that demonstrates children absorb twice the radiation as an adult. You have been given links to 53 peer-reviewed studies that demonstrate school Wi-Fi systems damage biological life. You have been urged to hardwire all your computers in the schools. Ignoring the above documented information and documented statements and proceeding with the use of Wi-Fi routers in the schools, you are committing willful blindness and can be liable for child negligence or possibly even negligent endangerment of child, which carries with it criminal law repercussions if any student gets injured from the school's Wi-Fi system and a parent decides to press charges. This document establishes that you have been warned. The People's Wi-Fi Task Force have sent you this document to alert you to your current liability status. This notice lays the legal groundwork for any parent in the future whose child gets harmed from the school's Wi-Fi system to take legal action, civil or criminal, of which you will be the witness and that you have been warned. Enclosed with this notice of liability are documents corroborating everything stated herein. 30 seconds. The People's Wi-Fi Task Force urges you once again to disable the school's Wi-Fi system before any students get harmed and resume the Wi-Fi Task Force. Thank you. Thank you. Steve Romine. Uh, hi, uh, thank you for letting me speak. Um, I just want to say uh, so an added note to what Raji read there, uh, and that is on um, executive session um, and how the uh, Board of Education, the Ontario Central School District Board of Education handled the executive session that decided on disbanding the Wi-Fi task force in secret. And uh, I also attended that uh, presentation by Robert Friedman that uh, Trustee Kernett was at, and uh, it was an incredible night. Uh, and I questioned him extensively about the use of executive session, and I'm sure uh, Mr. Kermit can verify what I'm saying here, is that he said you cannot go into executive session for simply somebody um, casually mentioning or even threatening a lawsuit. There has to be a litigation in process and you have to name the litigation when you go into executive session. So I know you did it innocently, but you did it. And uh, it's, it was imp an impropriety, imp improper action taken by the BOE and uh, it was held in secret when it should have been in public. The minutes uh, were in secret, so we really don't know what happened or what was said or who voted for what. And the public has a right to know. And uh, we want you to rescind that decision since it was improper. And you are in a, li you know, a liability situation for having done that. You could be taken to court 
and uh, you would have to pay the legal, according to Robert Friedman, this is what he said, you would have to, um, you would end up having to pay the court costs and you would have to rescind that decision. Um, so I'm asking you to do the right thing and uh, please read the documentation in the folder. I mean, it's all PhDs and MDs in there and the top health organizations in the world and see that this is not something we're making up. Um, this is real serious uh, stuff revolving around electromagnetic radiation and it, the chronic, it's the chronic effect. The testing that has been done on these devices were done for six minutes of use. That's all they tested it for to see if it would cause any harm. But there's such a thing as called cumulative effect and chronic effect. And cumulative is with a bunch of devices. They don't test for a bunch of devices. They seconds. test for one device. But testing for a bunch of devices all having an effect over a long period of time, none of it has been tested. So it's not, it's not safe. It's not, not proven safe. There's not one single peer-reviewed study that says Wi-Fi is safe for children. And you'll see in the documentation there's 53 studies that say it's unsafe. So please, do the right thing, read the research, talk to Robert Friedman again if you want, find out that I'm not giving you, uh, I'm telling you the truth and I'm asking you to do the right thing, rescind the decision, on, uh, and, and re, re -band the Wi-Fi task force. Let's go forward with that again and, and let, let us show you more information. So thank you very much for letting me speak.